How are we doing, ladies and gents? So, uh, we're going to do some southwest just for something different. So, we're not going to obviously wait for the timer. So, we're just going to go straight into it. So, here we are. I'm just going to turn the music down a little. There we go. Okay, so let's get the plane set up and go ahead and do the FMC I hope we're all well and thank you for watching the video so we are doing K M S Y and that can go in there let's see if I can work out what gate we've parked at because I'm not 100% sure let's have a look uh, we're gate Charlie Six. I'm not sure if this will work, Charlie Six. Oh, I did. Bad juice. Okay, and we are going to Dallas. Fort Worth. And we are going to be Southwest 901. As you know, guys, that's my favorite number. And we're taking off from runway. I think it's 29. Let me just verify, guys. I'm almost sure it's 29. Let me just verify. When you've got too many windows open. Here we go, sim riff. Yeah, I think it was 2-9 because I remember looking it up on Volanta. Yeah, it is going to be 2-9. So runway will be 2-9. Yeah. Just verifying it again. So we can go ahead and activate that. Execute. So we are going to need block fuel ways. We need block fuel of... 8265 we put in a little bit extra as always so we're going to put in 8500 go ahead and enter that and we are going to take 12,000 tons we can put that in there so that's all set so we can go back down and continue with perf in it and we will be climbing to 380 Reserves of 1.0 with a cost index, as you know, guys. That should be the joke of the day, 69. Let's just check the local weather. And the local weather for... Here. There's actually somebody else here. Cool. Uh, local weather is 340 at 9 knots. And the local temperature is 7 degrees, I think, by the looks of it. Not very warm. Warmer than here. Okay. Flaps will be 5, which will give us our V speeds. And our takeoff there will be just about there. That was nice and easy, wasn't it, guys? So, set our takeoff speed up here. I always like about 180. Uh, that's work. And initial climb will be 5,000. There's no VATSIM online. That being said, I will connect to VATSIM. Uh, and we will be on the VATSIM network. But there is nobody online in the area. So, let me just set VATSIM up. K M S Y to Dallas Fort Worth and let me bang the flight plan in there. I hope you're all having a great Saturday stroke Sunday, depending on when you're watching this. 
Um, it's possibly Sunday's video that's going to be uploaded. Uh, let me push that in there. Uh, let me check that flight plan again. Uh, file the flight plan again. As I change the altitude. Which is a good point. <laughs> we haven't even done the departure. Can you believe that? Right, two nine. <laughs> Which we've already said. Departure. Two nine. It's n there's no Sid, and I can't execute that. Right. Next page. So I'll do it'll be a direct AEX. A E E X and then direct to peanuts as for want of a better word, peanuts. And then we will be landing insufficient fuel. Really? Unable to cruise altitude. What's that about? Hmm. I'm not so sure where it's getting that idea from, but we'll put some more in. That doesn't make sense. We've definitely got enough fuel. Well, I've checked it. Uh, gonna fly over Louisiana and then land in Dallas. I'm just gonna check that fuel again now. It's making me conscious. Yeah, block fuel of 8285, and we've got more than enough. So I'm not sure where it's going with that idea. We'll just check the legs page, but I mean, it's not far as you can see. It's like not far at all. So not sure where it's going with that idea. Um, the plan, the plan, the plan, Stan. I think is to come in on runway um, 36 right. So arrival will be ILS 36 right. No shortage of runways at this place. And we're coming in via the Buri 1 Alpha arrival via Peanuts. Select. Execute. So that's all sorted and that's all good. Cool. So the plane's all set up and we just need to turn some lights on. You know me guys, I like my lights. Set the TCAS. There we go, that's setting the TCAS. And let's do the overhead lights. I'm just going to change this altitude up to 38,000. Just I really don't know. Maybe the altitude's too high. Could be. Because it isn't a very long flight. Although it looked it on the map when I picked it. I thought, yeah, this will be a perfect sort of flight. So maybe I got that one wrong. Oh, not that one. One too many. Right, let's get that down. Uh, we turn the sounds up. Okay, turn that one down before we get absolutely ear bashed by the c ground control. Okay, that's all looking good. There's no issues there. Okay. So we can go with flight directors on. And now we can arrange better pushback. There we go. Right, stop that. Go over to that and put that one on. Okay. VNAV, LNAV can come on, only it doesn't want to, couldn't be me. Okay, RTO to break. Flaps five. Here comes a pushback tug.
they're all clear for our pushback. Yeah, I think I, I don't know. I'm surprised about that altitude of saying it's not high enough. I think it is high enough. Personally, I think it is high enough. Um, just turn my mic down a little bit because I seem to be redlining. It's a bit of a weird situation. Turn the mic down too much, can't hear me. Turn the mic up. Same problem. So anyway, as I was saying, I hope you're all having a great day. Bakatua40, thank you for subscribing. do appreciate it. I know that's come through from someone watching one of the videos. But it is appreciated. Parking brake can come off. And we can start pushback. Still no vaccine controllers online, so we'll continue. <coughs> Let me just pull up on our Navigraph. Avitap, airports. Oh, what well, do we want? Charts, don't we? Uh, airports, here we go. KMSY. And we will want the airport. Here we go. So we're taking off from two nine, very straightforward, one out. Look at this. Out to there, bang, straight off. This could be becoming my new favourite airport. So they've um just to ring you up to speed. They've done a cheeky little update on the um, CL60, so I've been flying that this afternoon and having a lot of fun with it. So we're going to go out through here, turn sharp left, then do a sharp right to go to the runway. So round there out and then do a right and the runway is effectively running along in front of us. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Parking brake set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. So we can get the taxi lights on. I turn these on now because I've got a memory like a fish cake. Everything's looking good. Go ahead, disconnect. Gonna get some great views and what have you as we depart and some sounds. You know me, I love my sounds. And I don't just mean the music. Thank you very much. Ground control. Uh, American 2105. I can see him moving about through the building, not literally, but you know, he's somewhere over there. So we'll just be mindful of him as we start our taxi out. Right, let's head out towards the runway. Love the sound effects of the Zevo really do everyone's all loved up with the next generation level up me I'm afraid I do not it needs a few more updates before it'll win me over you know the fact that there's no voices in the back of the plane no PA it's just there's no immersion you know it's just released it too soon should have fixed all of it and then released it I know it's a free plane so I can't bitch too hard on it, but still, I think they released it too soon. That's just my honest opinion. And a little bit more work on the plane would have been a good shout. Um, 
it's not like there's not other 737s out there, so they could have took me more time with it, it's my personal opinion. Um, that being said, yes, it's nice to have other planes. So don't get me wrong, I'm not criticising the fact it does come in various different sizes. There's that American Airlines, so he's he's alright. I'm not sure if he's just arrived, but he's not causing us any issues. So we're just going to turn left here and head down to the runway. Um, so yeah, that's just my personal thoughts on it. Feel free to drop a comment in below, guys, what your thoughts are on that level up plane. But, you know, and obviously take what I say with a pinch of salt it's only based on someone that's been you know in this simulator for now 18 months so um, I just come to expect a little bit I would have thought it would have been a little bit better that's all a few improvements on the sound you know I'm not gonna uh, knock that there are definitely some improvements on the sound but if if that comes at the cost of the majority of the plane not doing what you're expecting it to do in Zebo, I know Zebo said no, you're not getting everything, and I'm, I don't blame him for not doing that. To be honest, I'm not surprised he didn't release everything to them. Um. Anyway, that's my bitch on that situation. So we're just approaching runway two nine now. As I said, this video will probably go out on Sunday, um, as opposed to being released tonight on when I'm filming it, which is actually Saturday. Okay, taxiing onto the runway. Okay, and hold. Or a throttle can come on. Let's try this VNAV LNAV. Still doesn't want to take the LNAV, which is really bizarre. Um, maybe it'll take it when we take off, but it's certainly not doing it in a minute. Um, we have got a direct, so I don't know. Um, there's no one online, so I'm just going to climb, make my initial climb. 12,000, no, 20,000 for the initial climb. Um, I'm not sure why the VNAV's not, LNAV's not working. Let's hope that changes once we get in the sky. Because that could be present us with a problem. Uh, for now, we'll continue uh, with the heading mode. So, on departure from the runway, we'll be looking to go over that way. We'll bung the heading mode on for now. Okay. Let's hit Toga. down the center line which I love about this plane. P1, P1, rotate. P1 rotate. Positive rate. Positive rate. Start the turn. Wheels could come up. Four hundred. Four hundred. You know me, I like to try and get onto all O pilot soon. There we go, V nav's now working. Oh don't have a canary. Someone's letting off fireworks, and my apologies for the noise, guys. Be quiet. I'm sorry. Oh, take your time. Having a nice flight.
Yeah, yeah, I heard you. I'm gonna log on the big test and see what I can do, alright? The guy told me something. Don't hear me. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, this one. Yeah, that one. he told me it died. Did they email you back?
well pulled by any crack. <laughs> I love how your stream can hear me, but I can't hear them, and that means I can't say anything. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't it? No, oh, I've sent him another message. Oh, he, I pissed him off already. Like, really badly. Like, he told me to watch my words, and I was like, what? <laughs> I, like, played him. But now he seems to be chill. I, I started wording properly at the real fucking talk show. Yeah, he said, watch your words, and I was like, fuck off. I said, I said, no, I didn't say fuck off, but I turned back, I turned back and said, watch your words. What is he doing? Take your son.
Yeah. What a count. I'm waiting for your, I'm, I'm waiting for the guy to respond. The guy to respond, yeah. I'll be waiting all night to be honest. I might have a nice screen tonight. I feel like it'd be nice, no? Well, I'm going to move to the Listen, I slept your mile alert.
breaks their legal policy. And then you can that breaks their legal policy.
I got a feeling that tonight will be the best night I can feel in. When I see you around, my heart is set to healing. I got a feeling I love to rise up. If you want to dance, you have to try to get it on. Just you and me forget about the time gone. About the time gone.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting our descent into Dallas. Let me just get the sounds back up. I hope you've enjoyed your music interlude. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Starting our descent now. Should be on the ground fairly soon. I'm just watching that. Got a rather large discontinuation there. Have a look what's going on there. This page. Now this vector is what is the issue. So let me take out that. Put that into there. Execute. So that should theoretically sort that out. Um, he says hopingly. Um, that might have been why it was throwing up that issue with the fuel. Uh, it's possible. Um, let me take a look at the Navigraph charts. So we're currently coming in on this heading here which is through Woot and I'm just looking at the runway so 36 right I'm wondering if it's possible to go straight in if there's the runway there I know it doesn't look like it but that is the runway there I'm wondering if it's possible to descend straight into the runway it's possible we could just go straight into the runway on the way in as we are coming in in the right direction which is to say that we are coming in through the right and then we're going to turn right and come in on the runway uh, yeah runway 36 right Um, yeah, because we're coming in from this direction. I mean, 31 left would have been even nicer, of course. But we're not going to be doing that now. So, just watching the descent. We're currently doing okay. Uh, let's go back over to standard. Uh, I'll check the Q&H. So far, we're descending nicely with the glide path. Um, so I'm just looking now. So yeah, it's going to come round and then yeah, that way. So theoretically, we could have shortcut this corner and then come round onto the runway, but we won't. We won't get the plane down in time. So the, my only choices would be to put a hold in. At something like here, um, which I believe is there. If I go back a previous page at Wards. Um, I could have possibly have put a hold in there. Uh, next hold, which would be Wards. We can put a hold in there, so that will just allow us to take the shortcut because then we can come out of warts at the right altitude and then just come across and intercept the 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 ILS so that's what we'll do it's always good to like try different things so I'm just gonna bring the plane down myself so we'll descend there nicely we're bringing the speed off which is good what we'll do is just give the give it a bit of help with the speed just to get it down to 208 knots and we'll go in the hold a couple of times around the hold and then when we come out the hold we'll just slightly go over to the right here on a um, vector a manual vector and then we'll be able, able to then pick up the, uh, the the runway which is over here so that was just take it I would imagine in real life they'd have brought you down in time to take that shortcut and the only exception to that would possibly be if they were trying to stagger the flights then they might bring you in 
the long way round. But if you were being vectored in, I would imagine that's what would have taken place. So we've stuck the hold in anyway, and we'll just circle around in the hold just to lose some altitude. Um, so we'll just increase that whilst that's coming off nicely. So we're doing all right. As long as we're down to around the 200 mark, we'll be fine. Um, Watts is a, a recommended hold point, so we're all right there. Um, but there we go. We're going round now in the hold. So we've entered the holding pattern um, the only decipherable thing will be to decide how many times we need to go around the hold to get the, the altitude off because 12,000 feet we need to get down to about 4,000 feet to come out of the hold so whilst dropping speed so we don't want to come out of the hold too fast like with too much speed on We've got full flap, full flappage. Do, 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 do. Southwest 147 on a <clears throat> on a 10 mile final for 31 right uh, Dallas traffic. Southwest 147. Southwest 901 on the hold currently at Warts going around in circles, losing altitude. Just uh, to let you know. But I think he should be okay because I think he's on a final so I think he should be ahead of us uh, let me just verify I think he said he was yeah he's close yeah he's close he's there southwest 417 um, Milwaukee coming into Dallas but he's way below us so he's fine Southwest 901, Southwest 147. I'll come in behind you. Just. We're doing alright with the hold. The hold's working nicely, as you can see. So. Copy that, uh, Southwest 147. Um, I'm going to just let him jump through the hold first. I'm going to try and bring down the, the flaps now and see if that can come in without setting the alarms off yeah it does it's fine so that'll help bring the slow the plane down as the flaps come out would also help with the descent so as we exit the hold we're going to take a direct across to the runway so we're doing good the hold worked perfectly we only ended up having to go around once so and the ILS has established uh, runway 31 right for Southwest 147 Dallas traffic. Okay, so he's he's on the he's on the runway. Well, he's lined up with the runway that we're going to be using. So, bit of communication between the two of us has allowed him to go ahead of me because he was behind me. Uh, but as I hadn't descended early enough, and he's done what I'm doing, which is taking the shortcut in. Uh, that's kind of worked out well for him so he's going to come out I'm going to come round this bend now and then I'm going to exit the hold so 
So as we come. Carlos traffic southwest 147 on three mile final for runway three right. Thousand to go. As we come round now, we'll come out the hold at the right altitude that I was looking for, which is between four and three and a half thousand feet. So that's worked out perfectly. This is unlike me, isn't it? Being all super professional. Uh, lulls. That's just the boat. This Seabo. I've spent so many hours in the Seabo. Uh, I've just learned to use the systems better on it, shall we just say. Right, so we're now exit the hold. So I'm going to confirm that I no longer require the hold. Exit as. Southwest 147 Dallas traffic. <coughs> on one mile short final for runway 31, right? So now the plan is just going to increase this and we're just going to turn to that heading. So let's turn to that heading there. We're going to go into heading mode and we're going to look for the ILS now. So we're coming out the hold. We're just going to watch the speed now. We're just going to pull back the speed to 190. There it goes. And we have got the ILS and that's good. That's been picked up. So that's good so as we approach we'll turn right to come onto the ILS Southwest 901 uh, 25 track miles runway 36 right exiting the hold coming up towards the ILS so beautiful landing southwest 147 appreciate that we'll be coming in next got it uh, the plane under control we're looking good it's just the way yeah, I want it. 147 Dallas traffic uh, vacated runway 31 right just just going nicely the way I want it so we're just flying out to the ILS and then we're going to turn right onto the ILS Because we're southwest 147 where you are, there's no taxiway there, you just actually cross the grass for me. Huh. <coughs> that happens. <coughs> Sorry about the cough, guys. Uh, yeah, for me, I'm on a taxiway. I don't know, I don't know who scenery is out there. I'm pretty sure I'm using like the. I don't know what scenery I'm using. It's like the Innabuild, um. Uh, Dallas left field, so I'm not sure. Southwest 147. Yeah, I'm just using the default X plane 11 scenery. I'll be blind then. What'd you say? Southwest 147. I said I'm using the default X plane scenery. Oh, that might make sense then. Yeah, I'm using a freeware scenery. It's actually uh, pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to find series, but I can never find where they are. I just to have yeah, a I just looked it up and it came up. I, I can't remember what website it is on. I'll uh, try to find it in a second and let you know. It's pretty good. It's just having the raging conversation here on <laughs> on Unicorn. <laughs> Southwest 901, where are you at? Southwest 901, 17 track miles. Uh, Dallas Fort Worth, uh, 36 right. Okay. Yeah, you have fun on that one. <laughs> that was 901, understood, thank you. Uh, I think the other fella must have gone into the other one then. Uh, My auto 
gate marshal apparently does not want to marshal me in. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, I'm trying to find that too. Auto gate marshaling. I'm trying to find a lot of things, but I can never really Wait, find it. Wait, do you have it uh, installed or do you need to, like, find it on the internet? Yeah, I know. Alright, bringing about the speed for 180. This is our RLS line here. We're just going to turn slightly to the right just to give us a bit more time on it. We've got time because you would normally come around this way and then join the ILS. So we're good, we're good with the ILS, we're sort of fine. Just want to come off this pointer here. As you can see, the ILS is there, so I've just got to be mindful that we are coming in under the ILS. There's so I'm just going to bring it down a bit below the ILS, which is here. I don't want a situation where I blast through the ILS. So if it means bringing down the plane, just to make sure I'm below the ILS, it's safer to do so. Because as I said, the last thing I want to do is blast through the ILS. Once you lose the ILS, then you're just fighting the plane all the way down so we're fine we're just pushing the ILS up a bit that's fine that's good we're at 3,000 feet 2,500 2, check uh, the power's coming back in so we're now going to just bring the power down to 170 and we're going to arm the approach and that should start to bring us round and if not we will keep turning the heading to intercept it uh, just to give it some assistance but at some point the ILS should just take over and say nah I can do it for you now uh, I can see the runway so we're all good um, here's comes the, in comes the ILS perfect so we're good go over to twin Autopilot 1 and 2. Runways are here. There's our runways. So everything looking good. Bring it down to 150 now. And bring out flaps 15. Bring the wheels down. That's looking good. So next spot will be bring the speed down to 142 and then we will go flaps 30 flaps 30 and should we get a little flop
Right, so my apologies guys, I'm used to just lifting my microphone and it just being working, so my sincere apologies that you weren't listening to that. So I'll just reiterate that um, I actually thought, apart from the bit of a drift on the runway, the touchdown was fine, there wasn't any major issues with the touchdown, I thought the touchdown was fine, but I did drift it somewhat, so next time just put it down. Um, but I was concerned that I was going to bring it down too hard so that's why I just held the nose up a bit too long but anyway uh, thank you for watching guys don't forget if you're new to my channel make sure you, you hit the subscribe as you can see there's either streams every day or a video every day but there is definitely new content every single day from either X-Plane or Microsoft and hun well I wouldn't say hundreds but dozens of planes that we fly on here so plenty of content for you guys to enjoy um, enjoy your Sunday this video will come out on Sunday so enjoy your Sunday guys hit the like button as always and have a great Sunday and I will be back on Monday morning with a live stream have a great weekend what's left of it and I'll see you on Monday not yet sure